So everybody getting the new SRT ghoul, huh? What's going on guys? Welcome back to Who is Louis 13. I am Louis. If you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it. It helps out greatly. Especially all those likes and everything you guys already know. Thank you guys so much. Let's get straight to the business. So if you've been on YouTube lately in the uh, automotive content area, then I'm sure you've seen that everybody, all the content creators are getting the new 100,000 horsepower, elephant crate engine, $200,000 SRT ghoul wide body charger um if you guys have seen it everybody's literally been posting it especially the channels that you know deal with mopar content that have mopar type vehicles everybody from josh laurent hemi life 44 Camacat, tall guy car reviews said something about it you know cali muscle racer x touched on it all these channels you know racer x didn't really say he was getting it he said he would get it which we're going to talk about but all these channels they say they're getting the new srt ghoul you know obviously this topic has been very clickbaitish. everybody is using it uh, for clicks right now and I'm a little late on it because I wasn't even really gonna touch on it but there is the new video that you guys just seen I'm sure you probably already saw it the SRT ghoul on the dyno you know with the elephant engine in it and apparently this video isn't new you know it's been out since 2020 power nation actually did this video with the new Magnaflow X mod so they decided to use a challenger that had a elephant crate engine in it thousand horsepower you know with the SRT ghoul badging on it and everybody's picking it up again you know it's it's starting to trend again uh, everybody's getting excited and I'm just gonna say you know this whole SRT ghoul thing if you guys haven't heard by now it started off as an April Fool's joke you know people been taking it more and more serious I believe it's been like the first time they brought it up was maybe 2019 or so and ever since then every April Fool's they've been bringing it back up now people are saying that they're taking it more seriously, which I haven't heard anything official. Everything that I've heard, you know, RT Life actually has done some stuff on it and um, he's put out some very informative videos on it. Racer X has also commented on it. He said that if it was true, he would, you know, like to get it, but nothing official has been said by any official you know dodge mopar chrysler representatives or officials or anything like that so everything you're hearing about the srt ghoul basically is just being used as clickbait right now there is a possibility that it could be happening you know dodge could go with it you know pick it up and do something crazy they have done crazy stuff in the past you know when they introduced the hellcat that was a crazy thing 700 horsepower so you know it's not out of reach for them to do but it's just not official right now. But one thing that makes me kind of skeptical about you know them even doing this is everything that's going on with the EPA right now. You guys know they're trying to crack down. They're trying to move more towards EV type vehicles. You guys know I put out the the video on you know the EPA cracking down and they're not gonna be allowing people to modify their vehicles anymore unless it's like a certified race car I put that video out we signed the waiver and everything so with all of that going on and the fact that the actual elephant engine was never approved by the EPA it actually you know failed smog or whatever you know uh, course it went through it was never approved you know so that's why the elephant engine isn't being used because it wouldn't pass smog um, so with all that being said, that's the only thing that makes me a little skeptical about it ever happening. That would kind of be the opposite of what everyone's doing. You know, Lamborghini just came out and said that by like 2024-ish, some somewhere around there, they're moving towards EV. You know, some part of their vehicles will still be, you know, V12 or whatever, but it will have a component of EV in it. Um, I didn't really read too much into it. I just seen somebody comment on it and I seen a little post on it. I read a little bit about it. So don't quote me on anything I'm saying, but that's pretty much what's going on. They just announced the new Ford EV truck starting at 30 something thousand all the way to 90,000. You guys know that Tesla has the cyber truck coming out. You know, all these different companies, even Dodge, they're all pushing towards EV in the near future. So coming out with thousand horsepower elephant engine, Though, like I said, I wouldn't put it beneath Dodge. That would be super dope. That would be pretty much like a FU to the EPA, which would be super dope. But it's highly 
I wouldn't say it's highly unlikely, but it's very unlikely, you know? It would pretty much be doing the opposite of what they're trying to go towards, what everybody's trying to go towards. So, you know, just take what you hear with a grain of salt when it comes to the SRT Ghoul. It's supposed to be in the Dodge Charger wide body the video that they showed with the dyno and all that that was a challenger obviously i think somebody just had the elephant engine in it they put the ghoul badges on it people are trying to take it and run with it like it's something official but you guys see the post it's april fools they, they posted on april 1st um so it was a good april fools joke man that's been going on for a couple years now and I think people just want to see it happen, you know? They hear a thousand horsepower, SRT ghoul, I mean, it sounds dope. And I'd like to see it happen too. I mean, I wouldn't be buying it at this point in time. $200,000 is a little, a little crazy, you know? I could probably do that myself for less than $200,000. If I get a Hellcat, you know, and do some things to it, I could make it a thousand horsepower. We've seen it done, you know what I'm saying? Um, Racer X actually had the thousand horsepower Hellcat. I know that's probably different. You know, this engine that we're talking about was built for a truck, I believe, or something like that. So, um, and it was never passed. You know, it never passed smog, though it would be a cool thing to see. Like I said, just take everything with a grain of salt. All these pictures and thumbnails you see people saying, I'm getting the SRT Ghoul, the $200,000 SRT Ghoul, this and that. People saying that they're uh, signing up to get it. You know, they put in the application to get the SRT Ghoul. It's pretty much just clickbait, man. We'll just have to wait and see. Maybe they do make it happen, which would be super dope. Hopefully they do. But if you ask me my opinion, I don't think it's gonna happen. Just with, like I said, all the regulations going on right now. Right now, it's pretty much a waiting game, but we could all hope. My favorite one, though, you know, a goal of mine is to get this one right here. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you guys, man. This car right here, bro, the 1968 Dodge Supercharger, bruh, I need that. That's what I need, that Helifin engine. Even not in the Helifin engine, I'm going to have that car one of these days. That car is so, like, I used to like the 1970 charger but i think this 1968 right here man this might be my new favorite you know they got the little wide body on it and all that that thing's badass throw a 426 in that yeah that's the one i want y'all could keep the new one man give me that so um you know they put the new hood on it they put the the splitter on it that thing is sick i guarantee you man you guys mark my words i'm gonna have that on the channel the 1968 dodge supercharger if you guys know if you guys have been following me i've said it several times in my videos the Dodge Charger has always been my favorite vehicle, you know, even ever since before Fast and the Furious. So when I seen it on there, it made it even more of my favorite car. And then uh, of course, you know, the Supra and the Skyline became, you know, some of my favorites as well. But always, I always been a Dodge Charger guy. The old school Dodge Charger was just always my favorite vehicle. That one and the Camaro with the hideaway lights. I don't know if that was a 68, I believe. Those were my two favorites, man. So I'm definitely, Man, I can't wait. Once the money is right, you know, in the near future, once we start growing and, you know, some things start going for me, some seeds that I planted start sprouting. I got so many dope ideas, so many different vehicles that I'm bringing to the channel. Not just muscle, not just new muscle, old muscle, JDM, you know, maybe a luxury, maybe some old school, cutlass, you know what I'm saying? You know, stuff like that, man. Um, it's gonna be sick, you know, Impalas maybe, I don't know man, there's a lot of different ideas that I got um, I'm not stuck to one brand, I'm not Mopar or No Car, you know what I'm saying I like a whole wide variety of different things, bikes, Harleys, you know, sport bikes, dirt bikes We got dunes out here, like, I'm telling you guys, there's an endless amount of things in my head that I want to do It's just a matter of time and it's a process and uh, eventually we're gonna get to all that so stay tuned for everything i just wanted to put my little two cents on this everybody's making videos about it so i thought i would throw mine up as well the helifin engine the srt ghoul april fool's joke you know everybody's kind of starting to take it serious we shall see what happens with it nothing official on it yet but we'll have to wait and see but let me know down below in the comments do you think it will happen and if you do tell me why man with everything that's going on with these new regulations and stuff let me know why you think it'll happen Happen. but you guys already know i appreciate you so much all the links are down below in the description for anything you guys might need if you enjoy like comment subscribe it all helps out tremendously i appreciate it greatly you already know the youtube algorithm likes them likes man so if you like the videos you want to see the boy grow and the channel progress that's the way to do it right there 1391 apparel also down below in the description i'm rocking my man fresh kick stuff 
in this one you know i support the content creators and you know the people that i rock with i don't know fresh kicks but i watch all his videos so why not support you know what i'm saying so if you guys want to show some support 1391 apparel link down below in the description you guys see me with it all the time the gaming channel also down below in the description if you guys want to go subscribe over there thank you guys so much until the next one who is louis 13 checking out i'm gonna catch you guys real soon man salute